My name is Tom Sanzolo. I'm a financial advisor, and I've been retained by Plains Justice to help them uh, develop the financial logic behind their opposition to the coal plants in Iowa. I'm quite familiar with how the utility industry works and the energy industry works, and um, I'm very confident that the alternatives that are being proposed by Plains Justice and other groups, the alternatives to use wind and energy efficiency mechanisms prior to the approval of any coal-fired power plant is the right financial decision, both for the, meeting the electrical needs of the state, keeping electrical prices low for the ratepayers, and making sure that the economy of Iowa is built for the workers and the businesses in the state. Uh, so we get a win-win-win situation out of this rather than an old coal-fired power plant, which I think is a dinosaur. The manufacturing base in the state is having a tough time. Um, and so you're looking to build the ethanol industry, you're looking to build the wind industry, and you're looking to keep your industrial base that's already here. That's slow, it's having a rough time. There are declines right now. Um, the ethanol industry is, 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 is going well, but it's, it's slowly going well. And that the overall manufacturing base is declining, and the ethanol markets, despite the fact that it has um, some growth in it, as well as the wind industry, it's not sufficient growth to really demand new capacity at the level they're demanding it. So by putting up this particular power plant, they're really using a Cadillac to do what a Volkswagen could do. I don't think you need as much new electricity as they say they do. I think that pretty much the economics is showing that. Um, I think what you can do is more of the energy efficiency and more investment in wind, particularly since Iowa wants to be a player in the wind industry. Uh, I also think you have the time to, to take those steps and then assess whether or not you need any more down the line. But you have the time, um, because I don't think the demand is as strong, but I think there's no time to waste. And so I think the call for a moratorium and a statewide dialogue uh, on your energy future is not only good public policy, it's great economics.